Corky, can you tell me a little bit about your life while you were in New York pursuing your career? I used to go to the Tush restaurant in New York on Broadway. That's where everybody hung out at. Musicians, singers, publishers. They had a big publishing house up in, in the Brill Building. You'd be in the Brill Building. It's a bank now. Isn't that awful? But anyway, at that time, everybody who was anybody hung out at the Tush restaurant. You could meet Tony Bennett, Sammy Davis, Sinatra, everybody. They came out of that restaurant. I used to love to go to the Tush restaurant and eat cheesecake. That was my favorite. Oh, it was wonderful. Well, anyway, I used to stand in front of the turf restaurant with my briefcase every day. Wow. And try to get the gig. So were you expecting to get discovered, or were you just looking for someone to pick you up and make you a part of their, of their entertainment group? I was looking for, to make demos for people, because the a publishing building, Everybody came out and wanted to make demos. And you, and you made a living doing demos. Most people did. I really didn't, but most people did. But I met some interesting people that I met. Hal David and Bud Baccarat. They used to come up to the office. And I used to be in the office with uh, Fred Allard, who was a publisher. His father wrote, mean to me, I'll get by, and all that stuff. I used to go up every day and have pastrami sandwiches. I love pastrami sandwiches, plus cheesecake. But who was managing you at the time? Fred Allen and Mildred Lindsay. My, she was my friend, Mildred. She was a tough boy. She was tough. You have to be tough in the music business. She told me, said, David, they called me David. I said, they call me this. Your name is David. You know what I said? Well, anyway, she said, David, the music business is tough. And you were too, she said, you were too nice to be in the music business. She used to tell me that all the time. You're too easy, too nice. You've got to be tough. She was tough. She liked you. <laughs> you have to be real. You do. And yeah. most men don't respect women, even today. They don't. But they'll, but the women that I met were very intelligent and smart. And they men, were tough. And men resent that. A lot of men resent intelligent women. They really do, even today. But they were very smart.